Hey guys, Matt here from Core Healing. Now, I want to ask you a question. Do you feel like you're allergic to, to things like money, maybe allergic to relationships, to love, um, to other people that just have this, this connection where you, whether you're around them, you don't feel right or um, you just avoid this, this person, this thing, this situation um, in your life? Um, this is something that what we ha have come up in the body code um, and it's called an idea allergy so it's a particular idea that you have in your mind that your subconscious has made a faulty connection with so I'm going to go down here um, there's a list of these are the most popular ones so um, as I mentioned before there's around money and around love relationships so we have success wealth all those sort of things here um, so basically with this faulty connection it's it's like a, a physical allergy to a product so say for example um, you're allergic to peanuts and you come in contact with the peanuts and your body has this massive allergic reaction to, to protect itself from the from the, the toxin or whatever the, the peanut does. So this is like a, with the idea allergy, it's very similar. So anytime we come in contact or have this idea that we want to achieve this thing, um, this idea in our life, um, we get this subconscious come up, it, it avoids this situation, it sabotages us if we get close to it. Because it doesn't, it associates this idea as being unsafe. So I'll give you an example here, success. So people have an, an idea allergy to success. They may have had a faulty connection. They may have seen someone successful in the past who maybe was, was mean to them, who looked down on them, um, was, was a horrible person. So their subconscious has come up with the connection that being successful means that this person is less than desirable. It's, it's not a nice person. So if that subconscious, if, if, if we're consciously on the, on the idea to, to gain success, subconscious is going to sabotage us because it's linked success to being that person. And we don't want to create that person for ourselves because if we create that person for ourselves, um, we're not we're the one who's not going to be liked we're going to be mean to others and and that's that faulty connection there with with success and obviously not all people who have success are mean and nasty and that sort of thing but that at a time your subconscious has linked that um together similar to to money um money is that same same scenario someone you could you linked um to having money was um maybe not so honest for example um and they've done something that has been quite nasty with their money um, and you've associated money with, as a bad thing um, so every time you go to try and make money you just avoid trying to do it or you get sabotaged in the process of trying to make it um, and comes back there um, so another thing and a few other things um, as i said before love um, your subconscious is, is just not allowing you um, to experience love in your life because love is a dangerous thing. It might have been something um, relating to your parents as a kid, their relationship. Maybe be something you've seen, um, could be something you've seen in, in a movie or on TV where, where love is love is a, made a faulty connection. Love is dangerous for your subconscious to have um, and it will go about to avoid those sort of things. Um, relationships in general, um, very similar. Um, being wrong. Um, being rejected, being judged, being criticised, those sort of things. Um, those um, those behaviours like being wrong, allergic to being wrong, being judged, being criticised, um, they sort of stop you from putting yourself out there, stop you from growing um, because if you put yourself out there, you have the chance to be criticised and you don't want to be judged negatively and, and be wrong. Um, so in that instance, um, it the subconscious you'll avoid doing those things you'll only try things that you know you can do you will know, only try things that you know you can do perfectly that you're not going to be judged or criticized for or you're not going to be wrong in a way so as you see there's a there's a huge list there and and those are only sort of um basically uh the more the more common ones so then you can have an ideology to pretty much anything if, if that subconscious made a faulty connection to you achieving or or getting something in your life so I wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how this works and, and how maybe emotions and different types of energy are linked um, with this ideology. So I'm going to, um, in this, this session, I'm just going to do a little session on myself. Um, before the session, I checked um, 
did the muscle testing on myself and I had an idea allergy to being criticized. Um, and that just that did, actually did resonate with me um, quite a bit because sometimes I, I do play it safe in a way um, to avoid criticism. I do, I do things that I know I can do. Um, and sometimes I don't put myself out there as much as I should. Um, and I know it would help me grow a lot more. Um, if I didn't have that, that fear or that phobia of being criticized, it, it probably t- more so down to the self-sabotage patterns. It, uh, if I get in a position where I can, um, potentially be criticized, um, sabotage takes me away from that. So what I'll do is I'll ask, I'm going to tap into my subconscious and I'm going to go back to the body code chart and I'm going to find out what is associated, why I'm basically, why I have that idea allergy for, for being criticized. So, okay, so this, this being criticized, it's associated with an energy and it's a mental energy. And this one is a broadcast message. So with a broadcast message, this is like um, a, a statement that's again stuck in the subconscious. That it's like a, a radio message. It's like we're all these, we're all frequencies, we're all this vibration, this energy, and it's like we're we're putting this signal out there. So these um, this command statement or this descriptive message. Um, goes out into the field, goes out into the universe and whatnot, and it starts to attract things that are going to make this command message or this descriptive message um, come true. So I'll get this broadcast message. Okay, so this broadcast message is um, hit me. So essentially that is basically my, my frequency, my, my energy is, is broadcasting this message of saying, hit me, hit me, hit me. And it's tracking people who maybe want to physically hit me um, and that sort of thing. And, and lucky I haven't had anyone hit me as of yet, but <laughs> that, um, that energy is, is there in me and so it's projecting that energy. Um, and what I'll do is I'll see if there's anything associated. We don't need to know more. And that's it. So I'm going to release that energy of that broadcast message. So when we we'll release this energy, I'm swiping over my governing meridian three times, which basically and setting the intention to release that energy. So when we release this energy, so that that broadcast message, that's a specific frequency that's stuck in my subconscious. What I'm doing is I'm cancelling that frequency out. So it's basically, as they say, like noise cancelling headphones. They do the opposite frequency for what's coming in. Um, and this is what we do. We just basically cancel that. So that that message is just disappearing. So put, that one's cleared. So is there anything associated with this broadcast, with this ideology of being criticised? And there still is. And it's another energy. And this one's a post-traumatic. And this is a recovery interference energy. So um, with the recovery interference, it's a type of injury that stops the body's process of um, recovering. So it's just not letting, so it's like we're getting closer to full health and it just sort of, it's almost like a sabotage pattern. It just sort of gets in the way from that final um, that final um, injury or illness to, to heal properly. So we see things with chronic um, and recurring inflammation, scar tissue and muscle spasms. It, it just doesn't let this, the energy there just doesn't let anything heal um, properly. It keeps sort of um, getting in the way um, and creating a bit of, a bit of havoc in that body. So, so I need to know a little more. So this was from an Illness, so it's related to an illness, and I'll get an age. Okay, so this goes back to age 31. Okay. Okay, so I know I know at age 31 I um I had pneumonia. 
and this is relating to that pneumonia. Okay, so there might be that that little bit of um, that energy left from that um, <clears throat> that healing that pneumonia properly, and and there's nothing associated there. So I'm going to release this um, recovery interference energy. Okay, so that one's cleared, and. And I still have an associated balance with this ideology of being criticized. And this one's an energy. And it's another mental energy. And this one is a, a no will to energy. So no will to energy is like, uh, we have free will as human beings. This one is like um, that no will to, it's like, it's, it's like that stubbornness not to do something. So I'll test um, on our list. These are the most common ones. <clears throat> okay, so this one's a, a no will to obey. So I'll get an age. So this goes back to age 11. <coughs> and so there's a cough from the pneumonia coming up, that energy is still there, it's clearing out. Okay, um, no will to obey, age 11. Okay, so this one is, is like a no will to obey. I'm getting it, testing strong for, for my parents in some way. So it's like, it's like they wanted me to do something and I, I didn't want to do that, that situation, so. Okay, so we don't need to know any more about that. I'm going to release that no will to. Okay, so it's cleared. So relating, going back to relating to that no will to obey, they might have been wanting me to do something that I could have potentially been criticised, um, or I had been criticised in the past for doing. So that energy of that no will to obey has been stuck and that has potentially caused that um, that idea actually, of, of me being criticized is a bad thing. So I'll go and see if there's anything associated with the ideology still. And there still is. And there's another mental energy. And I've got another, another no will to energy. Okay, so this one is a, a no will to be open, and again, this sort of relates more to the be criticised. Um, there's no will to be open. Um, there's no if we're not open, we're not putting ourselves there as a potential to be criticised and potential to grow. And I need to know more. So this one goes back to age age 21. And this is no will to um, be open and no will to be open. It's got something to do with my wife. Um, we were together at 21, we weren't married though. Um, You don't need to know any more about that, so I'm going to really start and then we'll to be open. Okay, so that one's cleared. So sometimes, sometimes you will remember certain situations where, okay, I, I didn't have a will to obey my parents at age 11. I didn't have a, a will to be open with, with Amy at um, at that time, my wife at age 21. Sometimes you will remember those things. A lot of the times you, you won't remember because this just goes straight into our subconscious. Our subconscious makes that faulty connection um, and it's out of that conscious mind. And that's why the energy um, in our subconscious is the, the automated. When we're conscious mind is switched off, the subconscious takes over. Everything in that 
everything that the subconscious is programmed to do is is on autopilot so it's just going to follow that program that's in that's um been basically uploaded into our into our subconscious so okay so again we've got an associated imbalance with the ideology okay so we've got another energy Okay, so this one is come up an idea intolerance. So this is like, it's it's like the ideology, um, but obviously an in, intolerance is sort of something that we can have trouble processing. So um, an allergy is almost like when we think of a say a physical allergy to an intolerance, um, say gluten for example. Like if you're celiac, that's a, a physical allergy to gluten, um, where your body just doesn't pro can't process that that. Um, that physical symptom, whereas an idea intolerance, um, it might be just your, your body, you can handle it, but it just has a little problem digesting sometimes. Not happens all the time, but sometimes that um, will show a bit of intolerance towards that. So these are the same lists of the ideas. So, okay. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, an idea intolerance to progress. So it sort of does link in quite, um, quite aligned with that being criticised. So if I've had this idea intolerance to, to making progress, um, obviously progress and being criticised are, are aligned in different ways. So. And this is age 31. So this is regarding, this is around business. So I was in business um, for myself back then. So it's like I'm putting progress in that business and I feel I feel like um, I can definitely relate to that because it was at, at um, a point in the business where um, I was at that point where if I if I made more progress, I would need more help, and I didn't really want to put on another staff member. I liked just working for myself, so I sort of connected that that progress is a bad thing in subconsciously, um, and that progress. I didn't I didn't want to progress and, and this might be related to something that was even deeper and there was a reason why. Um, so there's nothing associated with this idea of tolerance. So so essentially I was sabotaging my own progress um, for a reason to avoid something else. Okay. So I've cleared this and again we still have something associated with this ideology of um, being criticized and again it's an energy and it's another mental and this one's a, a memory field so basically what a memory field is it's a, it's a memory that's sort of a memory from our past that becomes stuck stuck in front of us and it's like Every time we go to move forward, to, to move forward in life and create something new um, and we want to go through this and create something better for our lives, this memory gets in the way and it's like, okay, you've, you may have tried this in the past and it didn't work. So here's this memory, it's in your face and you just get really discouraged um, and you just almost, it's like you want to give up. And, and as it is, says in here, it's like, it's like a rain cloud that follows you everywhere. Even when it's, um, even when it's sunny, it's just got this, this rain cloud over your head and it's just raining. It's just really um, trying to get past this. It just really sabotages you, puts you in a, in a bad mood to, to be able to get through and get past. So I'll see if there's anything we need to know more about this memory field. Okay. Okay, so this memory field goes back to, to age six. So potentially there's something um, in this memory field to do with being criticized that I have this memory um, 
this memory here that's attached, usually it's attached to some sort of, en like the memory is an energy, um, but it's attached to say something emotional situation. Um, okay, so this one's happened at school. And it was, it was related, I'm testing, um, doing the muscle testing, it, it was related to being criticized. So at this point in my life, age six, um, something happened at school um, someone might have criticized me and I've felt awful for, for being criticized. So my subconscious has said, okay, we don't, want to, we don't want to try anything new. We don't want to do anything different because if we do, if we put ourselves out there, we're a chance of getting criticized and we don't want to feel like that ever again. That's not safe. Um, it feels lonely. It feels really, really sad um, for having this. Okay, so there's nothing more we need to know about this. So I'm going to release that memory field. So when we release these memory fields, we're not releasing memory. We're not erasing memory. We're, release, we're, we're releasing the energy that is associated with this, this memory. So when you think of a, a situation um, in your past, emotions might come up um, as if you were in that situation before. Um, so what that means is basically that that memory is linked to an emotional frequency, uh, is linked to a, a frequency. So what we're doing is we're basically cancelling the negative frequency out of that, um, that memory. So when you look back at that memory or the subconscious has that memory stored, there's no there's no frequency coming up. It's just a memory. It's just we look at it, we can be looking at it as a neutral perspective um, and it helps us move forward there. So, so I've cleared that. Okay, so again, there's still something associated with this, um, this ideology. And again, it's an energy. Okay, so this one's an offensive energy. And this one is a cord or cording. So when we're interacting with people, um, and this is obviously in a negative way, um, we can create like these energetic cords between us. Um, and that can sort of, you ever sort of have that person in your life that sort of, you know, when you're around them or when, even when you think about them, it's like they're, they're just sucking the energy away from you. Um, and this is like, there isn't, a lot of times there is an energetic cord there that I mean, can be you latching onto somebody else and can be them latching onto you. If, if you've got a higher vibration, higher energy, a lot of low vibration people, they, they'll try and latch onto you, just suck the energy out to bring them down to them or to top them up. Um, so we'll find out when we got this cord. So it's age 32 is called, and it's with a female. So this one is actually with my daughter. So this is like a, a negative chord between us. So with our relationships, obviously we can have, when we have the loving relationships, um, like your wife, your kids, um, there are a lot of positive chords. There's a lot of great connections there, but we can get these, these chords that are, are negatively, have a negative association. Um, and this one, it has this negative association. Okay. So I'm going to release that chord. So basically just cutting the chord, um, returning it back to my daughter. So with these ones as well, with our say with our family, um, we can set the intention to to have that to be a positive chord to to be able to send love and and um, and love and that sort of thing that that high vibrational chord energy and sharing that that good good energy that good love um, between us. So let's sort of cleared that one out. Okay, so okay, so we still have an associated imbalance that's um, holding this 
ideology of being criticized in place. Okay. Okay, so this time um, we had the no will to energies come up before. This one's a will to do something. And it is a will to do something on a, a negative um, a negative way. So as you can see by the list here, um, it's a will to something to happen to you. So I'll get this what it's associated. Okay, so and this lines up absolutely perfect with um, with this ideology here and I I can totally relate to this and this is a will to seek love or recognition from others or outside so this is like that people pleasing that perfectionist um, personality and this was sort of me a couple of years ago the people pleasing had to seek love and had to have everybody else to be happy um, before I could be happy. So for me, um, the ideology of being criticized, um, if I'm criticized, then people will not love me. I have this strong will to be to seek uh, love and recognition from others or other outside sources. Um, and if I'm criticized, then I will not get that love. So this it's like these energies are, are bashing against each other, This and they can't. Um, we can't create one or the other. So, all right. Okay, so this one is from age two. So it's a will to, to seek love recognition from outside others. And age two, that was when my, um, my sister was born. So obviously at home, um, my parents probably would have been busy with the new baby. So it's like, where am I going to, I, I had the attention for the first two years of my life. Where am I going to get this attention from? I need to seek out others to get love and recognition. Okay. Okay, so that's all we need to know about that. At least that will to seek love. Okay, so again, we have an associated balance. So I'm going to do one more. Um, and if we can't clear it, then that's something I'll definitely work on, um, continue to work on myself. Um, but for the demonstration, it's giving you a perfect indication of, um, of how these things are related to this specific ideology for me. Okay, so again, we've got an energy. And this one's emotional. And this one's what we call a compound emotion. Okay, so this one is inherited, an inherited compound. So with the compound emotions, um, this is part of the emotion code. So this is what we're, we have a trapped emotion that's released. So this trapped emotion here is made up of two or usually two or three of these emotions. And this one for this example is made up of two. And I'll get the emotions and we'll see what they are. Okay, so the first uh, emotion in this emotional compound is self-abuse. So um, self-abuse can be a number of things. It can be that negative self-talk and that beating yourself up about things. It can be abusing your physical body in any other way. So like through, through drugs, through alcohol, through lack of sleep, through bad food, anything that's, um, that's the intention to abuse your body and, and to treat it badly. So I'll get the second emotion here. And the second emotion is guilt. Okay, so this, these two emotions have basically been experienced at the same time. So this one, so this self-abuse is about that negative self-talk. So this one's inherited, so we'll get who I've inherited this from. So, so I've inherited this from my dad. So what happens with these inherited emotions? This is what um, comes through at conception. So I'll see how far back this goes. Um, so he's got it back from his dad. I'm just gonna go how many generations this goes back. 
so this one goes back 16 generations. Um, and it's along, started with the male on that side. So when we look back at that um, in this situation, so this, this uh, long relative of mine, um, 16 generations, around 25 years a generation. So we're looking at around 400 years ago. Um, this male has gone through this emotion of self-abuse and guilt. So it's around this emotion of self-abuse for this example was um, negative self-talk. So he's, he's beating, him about, beating himself up about maybe something he's done. He's guilty for something and he's like beating himself up about it. He's feeling that guilt and that self-abuse um, together and trap that emotion. And he's passed it down to basically everyone along the line um, down to me. And potentially I pass that on to, to my kids and they can pass that on to, to their kids. So when we release these inherited energies, um, they can release, they usually release from everyone who's um, inherited along the way, including the person who's um, originally got, um, who originally created that energy. So even if they, they are dead or alive, it's we're working because we're working with the, the energy body, the spirit, um, we're taking it away from their spirit so they can um, be free of that. Um, when they come into basic, maybe a new life. Okay, so, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to release that inherited uh, emotional compound, this trapped emotion. When we have these inherited ones, um, it's just clear. So when we have these inherited ones, so say that self abuse, self abuse or guilt, for example. So that that emotion, if that emotion is in us, that can more readily come up. So, and I mean, a lot of the time, I feel guilty about doing even the smallest things. I, I still feel guilt, and I, sometimes I beat myself up about why I did that thing to make why I'm feeling guilty. And so, to me, that emotional. Um, those two emotions, they, they resonate a lot with me. And, and sometimes when we do that self-reflection um, of our, our past, and we can only really dig into a, a lot of the conscious mind of what we consciously remember, but going back, say, 16 generations, it's almost impossible to um, to come up with that and consciously be aware of that, of what happened to the ancestors back then that have been passed down to us. And it's only with the subconscious testing, we tap into the muscle testing, the energy, um, we can release those energies. So we've cleared that one. Okay, so we're still at a, we still haven't been able to, there are still associated imbalances that have, um, that are related to this ideology of being criticized. So, so with that, I'm gonna continue obviously in my own time because the video could go for a long time. Um, but as you can see, those, those ideology to be criticized, that's what I uh, have avoided in my life at times of, of being criticized because I, I don't want to, I don't want to be criticized. It's not nice being criticized, well, not being criticized negatively anyway. Um, and those things that I've released that are associated with, these are all parts in my life that have sort of built up and built up um, that have basically contributed to that, that ideology of, of being criticized. So starting to release that old energy, um, and then we're eventually going to release all the associated imbalances there um, and take away that ideology to being criticized so I can, I can be open, I can be grow. Um, and if I am criticized, that's okay. Um, everybody gets criticized. Everybody makes mistakes. We're all human. Um, we're only here on this planet to learn and to grow. So um, I don't want to be stopped and in, in living in fear of being criticized anymore. So all right, I'll leave it at that. Um, any questions about anything, um, feel free to send us an email at info at corehealing.com.au or send us a message through Facebook. Um, and if you want to, if you feel like you have an ideology, an analogy to a specific idea or anything on that, that chart that I showed earlier, um, feel free to book in for a session and we can go over and we can test what the subconscious is, is saying with you and release anything and anything associated with that um, idea, allergy um, that's sabotaging you and your life and, and stopping you from growing and, and creating the life that you really want. So um, thanks for listening and we uh, hope to hear from you soon. See you later.